Eddie, from accounting? Find enlightenment with Nissen Chow Mein. Doodle off, Eddie. Why is travel these days about what you give up and not what you get? Like electricity for gadget power at your seat. Room to stretch your legs and your wingspan. Food when you're hungry. And taking off your shoes only if you feel like it. These aren't luxuries, they're basics. Get them back on a Sella. Fever! The Ashley Furniture Home Store Labor Day event. Ashley designs, builds, and delivers it. So you get this beautiful sofa for only $499.99. Now at Ashley Furniture Home Store. Great style. Doesn't have to be expensive. This is a noteworthy day for all of us at 2020. Our colleague and my co-host, John Stossel, is leaving ABC News and this program after nearly three decades and hundreds of stories and specials. Good evening and welcome to us. For 28 years, John Stossel has been one of the most distinctive voices at ABC News and for that matter, in all of journalism. Confrontational. There's nothing more to say. Goodbye. I'm walking off the set. Controversial. I'm going to fire whoever scheduled this interview. <laughs> Provocative. I think this is fake. You think it's fake? John's been our resident contrarian. I could not disagree with you more. Stupid in America. Engaging and enraging viewers. With his commentaries, reports, and specials. John Stossel goes to Washington. A courageous and unabashed crusader against what he calls myths, lies, and downright stupidity. His distinguished career began as a consumer reporter at WCBS in New York, where his exposés earned him the first of 19 Emmys. We are not ripping people off. Doors slammed in his face, but others opened. I wanted to ask for He caught the eye of ABC News, joining Good Morning America, unmasking business scams. Supposed to cure ugly facial sag. And 2020, where as a champion of the little guy over big government... You know what? I'm going to ask you to stop the tape. He took on even bigger targets. What'd you do with our tax money? Turns out, it's impossible to find out. Give me a break. In his signature series, Give Me a Break, John cast a skeptical eye, challenging conventional wisdom. Shouldn't they make tougher decisions about when enough is enough? Give me a break. The trouble with lawyers. Greedy lawyers particularly got under John's skin. You're a parasite. You feed off the productive members That's of society. Ridiculous. So did government waste. In Pennsylvania, the U.S. Park Service built this. It's the best outhouse I ever went to the bathroom in. It cost more than a quarter of a million dollars. It doesn't even flush. The toilet doesn't even flush. John liked to say that free minds and free markets made good things happen, and that principle guided his reporting in dozens of specials, taking on issues like health care. Want a CT scan in Canada? Private vet clinics say they can get a dog in the next day. For people, the waiting list is a month. Education. What if a principal says, you're a lousy teacher, they can say I want to fire you? That's not, yeah, that's not right. He also uncovered injustices, like this Peabody Award-winning story about daycare workers falsely accused of sexual abuse. There was no clear evidence of abuse. Despite stories about torture and a 12-inch butcher knife, no child had an injury anyone could document. For the last six years, he has been co-anchor of this broadcast, first with Barbara Walters, and then alongside me. He is opinionated, tenacious, even outrageous. The things I do for 2020. But if you think we won't miss him... Would you ever jump in the Hudson River? No. We say, give me a break. And John, nobody will miss you more than me. You've been my partner here at the Anchor Desk. I've been honored to share it with you. We've been supporters and collaborators and friends during the last three and a half years. Thank you. I wish you much success. You've got a big job coming up. What is it? I'm going to Fox News Channel, and I'm going to have my own show, a libertarian show on Fox Business, their new channel, where I can play around. So I will miss you. I will miss all of you. Please join me there, and good luck to you. Much success, John. Thanks. And we'll be right back.